I need you to ensure that we did not put Bryce Claire with Natalie that night in the hotel. You bitch! I knew it was you! You... How could you be so cruel? How? What? No! I was talking to somebody else. Why are you eavesdropping on me? You can't prove anything. Ugh! Natalie! Someone please help! Natalie is trying to attack me! Cheryl, are you okay? No. She is still in love with you, Nick. She wants both you and Bryce. She is a very greedy and dirty person. Natalie, what is the matter with you? Don't you have any decency? Yes. Can't you be nice for once? Mom! Natalie's head had already started to go dizzy when she learned what Cheryl had done. These accusations made it worse. She tried to maintain her balance, but it was too late. Her body hit the ground and she lost consciousness. When she woke up, she found herself in a hospital with her father looking down at her. Where... Where am I? Liam? Where is my son? Your son is safe. Okay. Can you please bring him to me, Dad? I want to see him. No. I'm afraid I can't. What? What do you mean? Natalie, your son is a Davidson. So he will be brought up by us now. You are not fit to take care of him. What did you say? Natalie tried to wake up from the bed, but she was still too weak. <laughs> I know it's difficult for you to not act stupidly, but please, try not to. But there is one thing you can do. What, Dad? Make Bryce agree to become partners with our company, and I will give you your son. Does it sound like a good deal? You can think about it. Wait, wait, Dad! Natalie managed to stumble out of her bed, but when she tried to find her dad, he was already gone. That's when she saw Nick and Cheryl. She tiptoed near them to listen in on their conversation. I don't know why Dad wants us to take care of the kid anyway. We should just throw him in a pile of garbage. If he really is Bryce Clear's son, he is a good resource for us. Your dad understands that. Ugh, whatever. I just wish we didn't have to give up our suite at the hotel, just so that brat could be locked up. I wish I could just kill both of these people. How can they be so cruel? They can't treat my son like this. I have to find him and save him as soon as possible. Natalie wanted to strangle Cheryl there and then. Her body shuddered with the thought of her little boy being locked up in some room. She knew that there was only one hotel which her family frequently visited, and it was the most elegant one in town, the Ramada Plaza. I think it's time for you to find a good girl now, Bryce. It's the perfect time. Your mother is right. Come on, Mom, Dad, can you both cut it out, please? told you I am not looking to get settled anytime soon. So please, don't talk about my marriage. What is she doing here? Who is she? Is she someone we both should know about? No, Mom. She is just some person who has been annoying me constantly. Are you sure? Bryce, she's very pretty. I am sure, Mom. I'll take care of this. I'll be right back. Excuse me, sir. I really need to get inside. My son needs me, and I have to go inside to save him. I'm sorry, ma'am. I cannot let you in. You are not registered with us, and I can check that there is no room booked under your name. Listen, please understand my situation. Can you book a room for me? I need to get inside urgently. We are completely booked out, ma'am. I can't help you. Hey, you. What's happening? Are you following me or something? Hey, hi. Look, I need your help. They're not letting me inside this hotel, and my father has my son trapped inside. I think you really have some family problems. Look, I don't need your wise advice. Will you help me or not? I could, but how do I believe you? You could just be using me to get into this elegant hotel. What? You really think that low of me? You know what? Go to hell. I will find my own way in. Hey, wait. Hi, miss. Are you a guest at the hotel? No, but I need to- I'm sorry, ma'am. I can't let you in. But I am here for the job of a waitress. Oh, I'm sorry. I completely misjudged you. Please, go ahead. Huh? There are other ways to get things done too, Bryce Claire. Bryce, please tell me, what happened with that woman? Nothing, Mom. She is under the impression that her father has kidnapped her son and kept him locked in this hotel. She wanted my help to get in. I am sure she was lying. But if that's true, it's a terrible thing her father has done. You should have helped her. Please, Mom, don't think about it. She's just a troublemaker. I'm getting late. Bye now, drive safe. First, my parents are constantly telling me to tie the knot. Then, that annoying woman who is following me around. I think I've had it with people for today. Mom, help! 
Excuse me, is everything all right? I heard someone calling for help. Really? I think you got confused. I was watching something on the television. Okay, I hope that's true. Let me out, let me out! My daddy will kill you all! Wait, that sounds like... Was she telling the truth? What's wrong with you, man? Why are you back again? I think I want to watch television with you. Can I? If you don't mind. Daddy, is that you? Bryce had heard enough. He kicked in the door and entered the room to see Liam standing on top of the sofa. In front of Liam were two big bodyguards who were trying to catch him. Hey, how did you get in here? You should leave right now, guy. Daddy! What are you doing with this boy? Hey, didn't I just ask you to leave? That's not happening. You're a dead man. Ah! Oh! Yes, Daddy. Kick him. Punch him. You're distracting me, kid. I'm going to cut you open, tough guy. Now stay down. Both of you. Come on, kid. Yeah! If I'm right, they have kept Liam in the same sweet room which Cheryl and Nick were talking about. Wait. What? As Natalie stepped into the room, her heart sank at the scene before her. The broken door and injured bodyguards spoke of a violent struggle. Her mind raced with worry for her kidnapped son. Determined and terrified, she knew she had to find him and face the dangerous truth that awaited. Where is my son? He took him. Who? That tall guy who punches really hard. Ah! Oh, what are you doing here, sister? I heard you. You kidnapped my son and now he is missing. You, Dad, and Nick are really horrible people. I hope you rot in hell. All of you. What are you talking about? I don't... Wait, where is that brat? That tall guy took him from us. You idiots. We needed him. We don't have anything to leverage now. Oh, unless... Take her right now. Wait, no, stop! I have to find my son, Cheryl, please! Sorry, Natalie, it's nothing personal. Actually, no, it's very personal. Natalie was restrained by the bodyguards while she struggled with all her might. Cheryl had an evil smirk on her face as she was pulled away to another room. What will Natalie do now? Where did Bryce take Liam? Can Natalie and Bryce trust one another? To find out more, download the Pocket FM app now. Link is in the description.